This is delicious. It's called Night Moves with a K. Smells like charisma and tastes like victory. <laughs> 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 it's because it's the most ridiculous. I love it. Last year in September of 2016, I decided to make the weight cut to become a 48 kilo weightlifter. I had 10 weeks until the first competition. I called up Nick from Renaissance Periodization and I told him my ideas and my goals for getting down to that body weight to compete at the American Open. He was super supportive and said a couple things that make me laugh today. Number one, you're gonna be doing this over the holiday months. And number two, you're gonna not be allowed to cheat once. When I heard him say that, I was, I was like, whoa, <laughs> no cheat meals for 10 weeks? I mean, that's unlike me. But I realized that I also really, really wanted to do this all of a sudden. And so I guess I just made it happen. I had 10 weeks to lose seven kilos, which is 15.5 pounds. That's not easy, but it's totally doable. That to me shocks me that I did that. I mean, even today, a year later, it's crazy to know that I lost that much weight in that much time or that little of time. <laughs> With the diet company, Renaissance Periodization, I have successfully done four weight cuts and made weight in the 48 kilo weight class all four times. I cut out all sugars and there's really no cheat meals, especially on that first weight cut because there was no room for it because I was so much heavier than I am now. Now I sit lower so I can usually have a cheat meal once a week. And sometimes I have it twice a week. It just depends on how I'm feeling and where my body weight's at. No, I do not always watch my body weight, but I'm pretty consistent every week in checking it just to make sure I'm not getting too heavy because I still am competing as a 48 kilo weightlifter. If I do have a cheat meal, it's either more of the food that I'm eating, so larger portion size, which is like, for example, I do a burger, or an extra piece of chicken, or more carbs, so more sweet potatoes, more rice, and that's sometimes a cheat meal for me. If I do a sugary bad cheat meal, I go get a chocolate chip cookie, which are my go-to always, or a piece of cake, and I usually go to Whole Foods for that because I actually do love their baked goods. The most comfortable body weight for me is around 51.5 kilos to 52.4.
it's unrealistic for my body to get any lower it would be unhealthy and I would be a crab every single day so no I don't sit any lower than 51.5 kilos it's impossible for me at the low end of my comfortable normal body weight which is about 51.5 I am eating pretty clean every week and I only have a cheat meal once to twice a month if I'm at the more heavier end of my most comfortable body weight which is around 52.4 then I am probably cheating once to twice a week so I'm just getting more food obviously however my best training weight for competition is 51.5 because then I'm super low and I'm used to training at a low number so then when I do cut really low for competition it's not a shock it's it, my body can handle the heavy weights at a low body weight and I perform a lot better on stage when I was a little girl I would constantly constantly wake up with the worst stomach aches every single stinking morning. So as I got more into college, I started trying to look into what was giving me these terrible stomach aches and why I wasn't able to focus in class. I realized that it was a gluten and lactose issue until this last year when I found Renaissance Periodization Diet. I now realize that it was actually fatty meats that were killing me the more fat in the meats, the more grease, the more fat, etc., the more my stomach is just going to ache so hard in the morning. I hate it too because it's just like, ugh, it just makes me want to, I feel like I want to vomit. I feel like lethargic. I feel low on energy. It's just not a good morning with Alyssa when she has a bad belly ache. So I when I cut out the fatty meats with the Renaissance Periodization, I realized that the stomach aches were gone and I was more energized, more excited to train, and I became a 5 a.m. morning girl. Woohoo! <laughs> I start weight cutting again about five to six weeks out from any competition. This is usually when I stop cheating and I start focusing on making sure my portion sizes are absolutely correct, not more fats or more carbs in a meal. Uh, I make sure that I'm actually perfectly weighing out everything, no extra bites of anything because that will affect my weight drastically. So if I'm clean with my portion sizes and clean with my food, my weight drops pretty easily. I do end up losing a lot of lean muscle. That is why I lift better in practice because I'm a little heavier and I lift less on competition floor when I compete because my body weight is super low and super lean. And also I just got done with a drastic hard cut to the 48 kilo weight class. I mean, of course, I'm probably not gonna be on my A game all the time. But I have had four successful meets as a 48, so I've pretty much proven to myself that I am able to make the weight cut and I am able to be successful on the stage competing as a 48.
Everybody, no strikes. 